<laughs> it's, he answers me and, and says, we forced me to. We forced me to tweet that. So I was right. Okay. Guys, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. Here we are. Fire. With his Charizard against Mana. With his Morph. Here we go. Final destination for that first game. So, the first counter pink character coming up. It is indeed um, a, uh, like, how would we put it? A character that exploits Zard's weakness very well. Like, if you put Zard in the air, Zard in the air as Mars, you can keep him here very easily, and the same thing goes, uh, it's true if you put him on the edge. But uh, as a semi grappler character who also happens to have a good mobility and excellent jab, Zard also does rather well against Mars in specific situations, like in the neutral game. Okay. Let's see exactly how Fire is able to handle this new pick. Very nice, punishing the landing. Double jump is gone. He knows it, obviously, but isn't quite able to punish it. Yeah, the point is, like, Mana is a, is a really aerial player, I would say. We, we saw that with his uh, tuning, like, I mean, picking bombs and stuff, jumping around, making tons of dash and roll all around at some point, three weird one. But I feel like if he jump too much, he gonna lose that game. And speaking of, wow, very nice forward, a cheaper trading with the neutral air from uh, Zard, but obviously you do not want to trade at this percentage. Uh, and speaking of jumps, and you were speaking of it, um, wow, when I just barely able to grab that late, like his up was a tad too early to my test. I was actually wondering if he wasn't going to get hit by that forward smash. Nice don't tilt. <coughs> so, about the jumps. Yeah, oh! exactly, just like that. I was uh, about to say, when he's getting pressured, like jabs, uh, jabbed by Dr Charizard, even in his shield, uh, I'm afraid he'll tend to jump, and I'm afraid Fire already has that on lock. Um, he first tried to read that roll at the end, but then he was like, okay, if it's not the roll, it's a jump, so dash and smash. I'm not even thinking. So these patterns, Fire is already aware of them, so Mana must be extremely cautious. Yeah, and Fire is a beast at catching landing, a beast. Very nice. Going under the Charizard. Nice, wow. catching the roll, that jab. And it's like, well, we only get a jab. Well, that's too bad, but... Oh! Oh, wow. Nice take. He's more than ready, man. Trade? Oh, not even. Very nice from Manaz this time. Comprehending the situation. Okay. Always taking some tiny percent. And now that up smash just right, just like that. Watching him right in the ice. What were you gonna what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Spot dodge, up smash. This is my answer. Thank you for your stock. And uh, I'm starting to think that mana might have like a mental block because that spot dodge was very obvious. Like uh, you know, when you're under pressure you try to escape and when you don't want to roll and you already got uh, hit uh, during your jump, you don't have that much, that many options left, so I'm hoping he's not crumbling. Very nice trying to go for the neutral B, but then again, the spot dodge gets read by Fire, who gets a nice neutral air, trying to extend the follow up. Uh, one thing also I feel like is like when Fire always plays press mana when he's uh, at the edge, but he's always mixing up his, uh, his way of pressing it. The first, some jabs, forcing him yeah. to jump and make it the, the up smash, then just some that jabs, then some tomahawk jabs, then some grab, you know? It's always mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. And when you get the Charizard just in front of you, bit, you don't yeah. want to mess up. Beautiful forest match out of shield to take yeah, that start. That yeah. rock smash was a, a bit too much. It was when I was clearly looking to finish the landing uh, with that down throw. Uh, but Fire did not want to get stuck at the edge versus Mass, so he fed it all on the, down, onto the rock smash. Very nice back air. Wow, that was actually a frame trap. Very impressive from Fire. Yeah, going. I was speaking of frame traps, going with the, for the Michi rock smash. Again, not working out this time, though. This is definitely doable for mana. He's starting to be charged with his rage, but also he's starting to flew away, really. Oh, well, that's it? That's oh, it. that's it! But yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Took the edge oh. once, let it go, took the edge twice. Well, definitely no more uh, flexibility. input from uh, mana. I did not want to just do a drop neutral B. At least a jump neutral B or double jump neutral B. That's too bad. Well, it was at least uh, looking like a match. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised to see the mouse tame. We're going back on the final destination, though. Which is, uh, in my opinion, a decent pick. Uh, you can clearly punish uh, Zard's landing pretty well, but he wasn't doing much of that, actually.
So, second game going on the same stage. This time, he gains the lead more and more and fires away again with a reverse neutral air. Very nice mixing up his landing with uh, Dancing Blade. Oh wow, releases you just a tiny bit too early. I feel like Mana is not used to punish that. Like he punished it once, yeah. but Fire did it so many times in the previous uh, in the previous game. Yeah, absolutely. Just so many oh, well. times. Yeah. No tech. This is a, a clear depiction depiction of uh, that super armor on his up B, uh, which is actually just uh, other words for terrible. Very nice punish, going for the mono hit, not looking to go into anything too complicated with this big of a lead. Mana is super good at just sometimes sometimes just oh nice. Mana is good sometimes just waiting and just act yeah. of what happened. Like when he he knows how to provoke some uh, some reaction and act for those reactions. But unfortunately the overcommitting on that edge guard allows fire to get that opportunity and took that stock. And that is off stage. What else is new? Okay, fire is trying to read stuff. Very nice and down -shift. These are some of the pokes and ground options that Zard has that make it sometimes very hard for uh, sword characters that are used to have the upper uh, upper hand in terms of red. And that's it! The double, cut, double jump is gone. Mana is not even trying to make it back. Very good call from Fire. Yeah, I would say the, the uh, down tilt since earlier catch so many yeah. shards up from Mana. So many. Which I, oh! Okay, yeah, which again the same because all the move of uh, Marth starting upward and then getting downwards, except for the back air, but when you jump like forward to uh, in front of the guy and forwardly like in face to face, it cannot pull out the back air. So everything get catched by that uh, by that down tilt. Always, always. Okay, nice down tilt pushing him. Tiny slip up and then that tiny full so I want to get side B but not in time not in time it's not used to punch that it's not used to okay, nice shot up fair pushing him rolling on that uh, tunnel grab oh now he makes his home oh on the jab now can't you give just building that advantage man building it building it like 160% beautiful spotters and neutral B. What you think? I'll let my shield. I won't. Up smash. Yeah, calling the neutral B. Manage mix up. Are, like, he's definitely going for various mix ups. But uh, it's funny because in this specific situation, we were stuck at the edge. That's when he tried to use neutral B last game. And in a rather, um, you know, shocking way, he died. So there's no way Fire has, for has forgotten that at this point. So I think. It not only uh, reflexes and reaction time, I think he knew that Mana might be going for this mix-up at this point. So yeah, good call on Fire Spot. Spot dodging that shield breaker. And Mana, will he stick with, fi with Mars? Ah, I, I, I couldn't hear. Me neither, actually. I heard a name, but I didn't know which one it is. So, which card is it now? Pit? What? Okay, Dark Pit. Well, Pit Malefic. Mana, it, it's pretty uh, easy to know which character Mana plays. If it has a sword, he probably plays that as this character. <laughs> so That's true. he has two swords, kind of counts. Gets a long range projectile, projectile also. And uh, while you were saying that he does play a rather aerial game most of the time, uh, Pit and Dark Pit are more comfortable playing a grounded game. He has uh, good aerials and good aerial follow ups out of grabs, but uh, most of his neutral game is played with, uh, in a, you know. Meta Knight or uh, Falcon can away with uh, dash dances and dash grabs, dash attacks. Mm. It is so indeed a uh, pretty good call to try and finish without the landing. Okay. At least does not get up in the meaty part of the side B. Uh, down B. Okay, nice dash attack. Try to make a wall of them back here and forwardly out of range and that forwarder reach him. Now taking some person with that neutral B. Nothing much. I nice throw. Oh, wow. Throw. Wow. Well, okay. Just barely lived that. Even though the GI was absolutely uh, horrendous. Will he get another grab? Nope. With that down there. Too much laggy on the landing. This. Oh, wow. Oh. Matchup and experience coming in. One serving of I do not know how to finish that move, please. But Fire still takes the first stock of a mana. I feel nice. I'm starting to be a bit on the nerves, like getting hit by all those up smash one by one. Like he lost a, a lot of stock. 
on that, on those reads. Those oh, wow. are, this is one of the most important things, this is reads. Yeah. And he lost those, which is, might hurt. Okay, we'll go for the easy follow-up. Yep, up here just knows that at this point there's no way neutral air will link it to anything. It's hard enough at 0 percent too. Very nice. Trying to get the frame trap. Okay, nice. Oh! Oh, wow! Already okay. out! My god, that smash! It was at more than 100 percent, 120 yeah. something. And Mana was like at 40, not even 40, and he mashed out so fast. Okay. Not, not sure about that beefy, uh, beef on fire. Not sure if it was a. Uh, Necessary, but obviously it was even voluntary. So anyway, when are able to take that stock, nah, but the body did not do a lot, but it did give him some form of stage control, which he drops immediately. The famous roll to down smash, the down smash being like four or five frames fast. With all those jumps, he made the read more diffi diffi uh, difficult for uh, for fire. As we yeah. just see, like ju he really played with that a lot, like forcing him to jump to do something, yeah, and then making with punish his uh, landing punish, and yeah. then making his own punish. But unfortunately, he can not really follow afterwards, and fire always take back the advantage. I mean, it, it's a good mix-up, definitely, but I wouldn't rely too much on it because um, the fire has experience in matches, uh, matchups such as Rob, so he's very used to finishing both landings and uh, delaying the air. Terrible GI, but he was dead anyway. Also, Mana has a, he's aiming really a lot to those dares. He won those kills, but unfortunately, he let all the way charge and get back on stage and then always and often, mostly, lost the mix-ups uh, from the edge. Like, it's really hard for Mana to find uh, to find that. So I, f I really feel like you should just wait a bit more for this edge guard, not try to go too much off stage because he always lost the mix up afterwards. Yeah. Just as you said, he just gave up stage control and the uh, ledge trap. Well, to down smash. Still not enough to kill. Zadi the big boy. Oh wow. Nice. That was smart dash tech. Looking for the dash up smash, yeah, but neutral air covering the Zard's landing. That could allow him to avoid that fair. Okay. Oh. Yeah, not, not indeed, not quite able to finish Mana's landing as well as he did. This reminds me of the Nymph set, who's going right through, running through the stage to get a punish. Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, Mana does not get any kill to, any grab to get a kill or anything. Oh, that's it, I see. Yeah. Oh wow, he tries it, but... Oh wow, is it, we are in France. We miss things like that. No, that was Dunk a good smash. Actually, that's kind of a good call. Like, if you don't know exactly, I don't know, I don't know, but like... If you don't know exactly if you're gonna take the edge, how you're gonna take it, when you're gonna take it, could be kind of weird to face that new situation. G, yep, the nice uh, head dodge from uh, Mana. Did the right thing. He's so scared. Wow, barely avoids that setup. Oh, yes. Again, then smash, again. He was like, just get away, get yeah. away, get away! Okay. Do you think he's cool? Yeah, he's finding opportunity. Simple. He keep it simple yeah, right now. Absolutely. Just shield grab when you're not sure about the cross up. Jump away. Some dash tag. That's nope, it. That's oh, it. oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As you said just earlier. Oh, he, he, uh, he crossed him up. You know, with yeah. the side B. Yeah. He missed the grab, and you're all like, uh, oh, yeah. um, uh, not uh, match up uh, yeah, knowledge. Would say yeah. uh, inexperience. Now, if I was like, I know. Yeah. A, a now bit earlier know. in this very same match, he did get like a. I don't remember for dash grab, I think. But this time he was like, no, nope, no way. Uh, I don't. I'm not letting this. Uh, Slide away from me, this victory is mine. And so Mana, uh, with the, well, uh, the mouse we could see coming, but the dark bit very unconventional coming from him, uh, isn't able to take it.